Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kevin Geary. I am very glad you are here. A couple of years ago, I created a free web development course called Page Building 101. I put it on YouTube. Anybody could watch it. And it quickly garnered hundreds of thousands of views. It became known pretty much as the go-to course for web development in a page builder. And I started to get thousands of emails, thousands of emails from all over the world. We're talking about agency owners who used Page Building 101 as the education for all of their team members. It's just, just if you're going to be on the team, you have to go through Page Building 101. I got emails from people in economically challenged areas like Mozambique and Venezuela who told me they were using Page Building 101 to gain skills. They couldn't afford any other online courses or trainings. They use Page Building 101 to gain critical skills and then start to acquire web development clients online and literally change their life and their family's lives. I got emails from everybody in between those two groups, just people telling me, hey, I use Page Building 101 to level up my skills. It gave me so much confidence. I was able to communicate better with clients. I was able to land better clients. I was able to raise my rates. I now have a much, much more profitable company, whether that's an agency or a freelance business, and their life has changed. They are in a different tax bracket because of what they learned and implemented from Page Building 101. These are the emails and messages that come into me and pour in from everywhere. Now, the problem is, Things have changed. Things have changed a lot in the last two years. CSS has evolved dramatically. We have new tools like Etch that are designed and built for the next era, which looks very different from the previous era. We have AI coming in, changing the game. I mean, things are shifting. The whole landscape is different. There are new possibilities. There are new ways to work. And what all of this demands is a rewrite, a re-recording a restructuring of Page Building 101. And that's what I'm announcing today. Today, we are kicking off Page Building 101 Era 4. Now, if it's the second iteration of the course, you might be wondering, why is it called Era 4? Shouldn't it be called Era 2? Era 4 really relates to the eras of visual development on the web. If I take you all the way back to Era 1, Era 1 was tools like front page, tools like Dreamweaver. And then of course, in that era was the advent of platforms like WordPress, which didn't even have a visual builder at the time. And again, this kickstarted kind of the theory of visual page building was that code is too difficult for the lay person, the average person, the person, the man on the street, if you will. And so what we want to do is we want to develop a visual tool that is what you see is what you get, that is point and click and drag and drop. And if we make it easy enough, anybody will be able to build websites and that will be fantastic. And, and I think that that was a great theory. And I think that that was a great mission that everybody was on. Um, now, things evolve. You get in from era one to era two. Uh, we see Wix, we see Squarespace. For WordPress, we see Divi, we see Elementor. Uh, and actually in this era here, we see tools like Dreamweaver and FrontPage start to fall behind because for professional use, they're not able to keep pace with what professionals need. And at the same time, they are not inviting to lay people. And so they just don't really have a good market fit. And so they fall to the wayside and the point and click no code, low code, visual tools really, really start to dominate the market. But then we start to shift into era three, and this would be around 2018, 19, 20, 21, somewhere in here. And this is where we really start to identify that this theory where if you just dumb it down enough, if you just make it easy enough, anybody will be able to do it. We started to realize that that theory did not pan out, that that is not actually possible, that the work that we do in web development is too complex. There is too much requisite knowledge that you cannot, does not matter how much you simplify an interface, people cannot just come in off the street and build websites. It doesn't 
work like that. And so in era three, you started to see tools shift much more towards professional features and advanced features and start to leave behind a bit the layperson and the beginner. But the problem is with these era three tools, this, this, this advanced functionality, this new focus on professional workflows is essentially bolted on top of era two platforms. So era two architectures, era two interfaces. And so there is a big problem here. Now, bring in era four. We actually graduate in our thinking and our tools in era four to say, you know what? The old interfaces need to be scrapped. The old architectures need to be scrapped. The old mission needs to be scrapped. Era four is the first era where we realize visual building, what you see is what you get, actually has tremendous benefits, but only when you put it in the hands of capable people and only when you tailor it to capable people. When you have the mission of designing and building a tool for professional use, you can actually innovate web development. You can actually reach development speeds and efficiencies that have never before been seen. And this is what Era 4 is all about. Now, in order to use these tools, you need the requisite knowledge. You need to know the language of web development. So Page Building 101, Era 4, is not about learning the proprietary language of a specific page builder. Like I'm not gonna teach you Wix and I'm not gonna teach you Squarespace and I'm not gonna teach you Elementor or Divi or Bricks or Breakdance or Oxygen or any of the other plethora of page builders. What I'm going to teach you is the language of modern web development. And then you are going to use a tool, an era four tool that respects the language of modern web development and there will be no learning curve at that point. You and the tool will be one. You will be working together. It won't be getting in your way. It won't be doing things differently from how you knew them to be. You will just feel empowered and confident and efficient. And that is the goal. We are going to give you the knowledge and education that you need to build websites visually in the modern era. And then it's up to you to use a tool that aligns perfectly with that education, with that knowledge. So let's talk about the new structure, the new organization of the course. Page Building 101 Era 4 is designed around my 5S framework for building anything on the web. You're always going to start with structure. Then you are going to get the semantics correct. Then you're going to add selectors. Then you're going to add styling. And then you are going to incorporate it into the systems of the project. Whether you're building a card or a template or a pattern or a component, doesn't matter what you're building. You're gonna go through these five steps in order every single time. So it's great that the course also teaches in that order. Everything that you want to know and want to do in terms of web development is going to run through this 5S framework. It's nice and tidy, concise, organized, consistent. It is going to empower you. It is going to help your mind connect certain dots. This is the framework you are going to want to learn, study, and practice. Now, there are three big promises that I'm going to make to you because I, I really do want you to invest the time here. This is going to be an in-depth course. It's going to feel at times like you are drinking from a fire hose. And there's just no getting around that. I mean, I, I keep everything real, raw, and relevant. I go deep. We're not doing surface level stuff here, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And I'm going to make three promises to you. Number one, at the end of this course, you are legitimately going to know the language of modern web development. You are not going to be stuck with the proprietary language of a visual builder. This is literally like a college level education. I would say it's better, more relevant than a college level education on this topic. That is number one. Number two, you're going to elevate your skills above 95% of other page builder users. So out of all of the people who use a visual builder, you will be in the top 5%. And then probably most important of all, the confidence that you are going to gain is absolutely priceless and invaluable. 
One of the things that people tell me all the time is, Kevin, I spent 10 years in Elementor. I spent eight years in Divi. I spend all of my time in Webflow and Wix and Squarespace. And I, I feel like I know the tools, but I know in the back of my head, I really don't understand deeply what I'm doing. I'm clicking a lot of buttons. I'm moving things around. But to be honest with you, Kevin, my projects are a mess. They're not scalable. They're not maintainable. They got a lot of accessibility issues. I don't know what a component is. I don't know. I, I just put the things together. I cash the checks. I move on. But at the end of the day, I'm not really all that confident. See, there's one big truth that you need to understand about this industry, especially among people who use visual page builders. There is a high, high degree of imposter syndrome, and nobody wants to show up to their job, to their work, to their own company, feeling like an imposter. And they feel like an imposter because of what I just described. They're clicking buttons, they're dragging and dropping, they're assembling things together, but they know in the back of their mind, they don't really know what's happening under the hood and they don't have true command of the projects that they are building. And that imposter syndrome leaks into everything. And when you overcome that imposter syndrome, by developing real skills and real real abilities and real knowledge through real education and you use real tools, you show up in a completely different way, in a completely authentic way, in a completely authoritative way. And that bleeds positively into so many areas of your life and your business and your general well-being and how much you just enjoy the work that you do. Now I'm gonna share my screen and we're just gonna do, I didn't mean to zoom in right there. We're just going to do some last minute little cleanup, mainly related to how you participate in this course. So I'm gonna direct your attention to geary.co slash PB101. This is the overview page for Page Building 101 Era 4. I would encourage you to read this. I know you know how to read, so I'm not gonna read this to you, okay? Read the introduction right here. Come down and review the 5S framework that you are going to be learning. And then come to this section right here, how to participate in this course. Couple really important things here. Number one, it's gonna be on YouTube. Every lesson is gonna be published as I finish the lesson and, and edit the lesson and release the, the, the lesson. I'm, this is like, I'm not dripping this out intentionally. I'm literally giving them to you as they come hot off the press, okay? Um, and I wanna encourage you to participate in the comments of each lesson. There's gonna be really valuable discussions down there, really valuable questions and comments. I wanna encourage you to read them and engage with them. And I wanna encourage you to leave your own. I'm gonna be using a visual builder for WordPress called Etch for each lesson because it's the best visual builder for WordPress as well as the best tool for learning modern web development. You may not be a WordPress user, and that is totally fine. You may not own a copy of Etch, and that is totally fine. WordPress is free, and I'm gonna give you a free development copy of Etch as part of your participation in this course. So don't think that this is gonna be, oh gosh, I'm Webflow, or I'm Wix, or I'm Squarespace. I've never seen WordPress before. I've never, you know, none of that matters. None of that matters. Five minutes, you're gonna be up and running, and you're gonna follow along with every single thing that I'm teaching in this course. So I want you to go click this blue button, get yourself a free development copy of Etch, get it installed on local WP or a staging site with one of these extensions, and then follow along. You're, you're off to the races, we're, we're, we're going, okay? Uh, some FAQs, what's the cost of the course? 100% free, can I use any page builder I want? Yes, you can, but there's some caveats. I want you to read this section right here. What are your opinions on XYZ Page Builder? I get asked this a gazillion times a day. This is the most concise answer that I could possibly give. Go read that. Does this course use a CSS framework? Go read the tidbit about the importance of frameworks, okay? Um, we're going to introduce you to one, but frameworks are not required. They're just insanely helpful. Uh, but th this is part of the process of learning. We're gonna talk about all of this stuff throughout the course. Does the course use AI? Uh, we're gonna talk about the role of AI in modern web development. We're not gonna rely on it. We're not gonna heavily use it during the course, but we are going to make sure that you understand where AI fits into a modern era for web development workflow. And then there's some reviews and stuff like that down there, okay? geary.co slash pb101. Last 
thoughts before I sign off. This is very important. I can't say it enough. This course is 100% free. If you've seen the thousands of emails that have poured into my inbox over the last two to two and a half years of how this kind of content has absolutely changed people's lives, you would realize one thing. I don't have to pay for this. So the way that I should pay is I should share it. I should like it. I should subscribe to it. I should comment on it. I should engage it. I should put it in the hands of every single person I know who does web development or wants to do web development because of the impact that this kind of education, again, people don't, there's a lot of people in this world who do not have hundreds or thousands of dollars to spend on education and getting this, getting them this course for free that they can participate and practice with for free is literally life changing. So you don't have to pay me a single dollar. I want you to pay for this course with shares, getting it into the hands of other people, likes, comments, engagement, okay? Um, because that is going to help other people. That is going to help the industry. And a rising tide lifts all ships. It's not just good for individuals. It's good for the industry as a whole. The more people that get on board with best practices and do higher quality work, the better the industry's reputation gets. This helps everybody. So just share it. Share it, like it, and engage with it, okay? That's it. We're getting into this course. I will see you in the next lesson very soon. Cheers.